What's up guys, Nate here from The Run Experience. We are gonna go after five of my favorite foot and ankle strengthening exercises for runners. We're gonna get those little footies nice and strong and stable so that you can run without any problems. So before we dive in with these very specific exercises that will help strengthen your feet and your ankles, it's good to remind ourselves why we need strong feet and ankles in the first place. There's a few different ways to tackle this question, but uh, a good way to think about it is actually just, you know, life these days. We spend a lot of time in these cushioned, super supportive shoes where our feet slowly turn to mush. They're not really challenged that much on a day-to-day -day basis because uh, you look pretty weird if you walked into your local Starbucks barefoot. They might not serve you. Uh, you can't go to work that way either. So we end up being in these shoes. We end up being in these shoes all the time. And then the same thing with running because obviously we need shoes for running. I'm not one of those guys saying you don't, right? You need to protect your feet. But, the, but there's a downside to it. The feet tend to fall apart. So what we need to do is take those shoes off and spend some time strengthening our arch, our ankle, our calves, our shins, all those supportive muscles so that when we do run, we can maintain better mechanics for longer periods of time and our feet don't collapse inwards and fall apart on us. So exercise number one is going to be some ankle circles. Now you could do this in different ways. The focus is really gonna be getting this ankle joint to, to really move uh, back and forth, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, you could do this on your butt, that's probably the easiest way. What I like to do actually is to stand and post up on this left leg and then pull this right leg up here and do my ankle circles from this position. Uh, the reason why is I'm getting a little bit of foot strength and balance and stability, a little bonus work on this other leg. So really what we're gonna do is work on building the biggest circle we can. We're gonna do like 10 of these in one big direction. And you may notice that your foot might make really small circles or there might be some sand in the gears, so to speak, where it seems kind of rough, it probably is. So what I want you to do is go as big as you can. They'll smooth out 10 circles one direction. Good. You're gonna go ahead and go 10 circles the other direction and you're gonna start to feel your anterior tibialis, your posterior tibialis, your calves, shins, everything really start to fire up. And as you can see me hopping around a little bit, I'm working hard on this hip as well just to stabilize. So 10 big circles one direction, 10 big circles the other way. I can build up to 20 each direction. Cool, next one, number two, is going to be a little ankle pump. And really what I'm gonna be doing, same thing. I could do this on my butt. I like to multitask and balance on this leg. I'll show this other foot, is to work on a little bit of a, pointing of the toe back, which is a little dorsiflexion, and then a little point forward, which is plantar flexion. So I'm gonna work on 10 pumps back and forth. Once again, I'm trying to minimize this mid-range stuff, and I'm gonna go all the way back as far as I can, maybe hold for a second, go all the way down for a second, all the way back, all the way down. Once we're gonna do 10 of these, build up to 20. Now we're getting in the real meat and potatoes here. We're actually gonna walk on our toes. And uh, this toe walking is actually a little trickier than we first realized. It's, it's a little harsh at first. That's why I like to do some of those ankle circles and pumps first, just to get our ankles primed a little bit more. Now we're gonna start to elevate ourselves up and we're gonna start to walk forward. I'm actually gonna have you just right down level with my feet so you can see that really well. And one of the things we're gonna work on is just our stance. We're gonna to try to work on rolling up onto the, the balls of our feet here, and we're gonna hit some sort of walk. Now, I'm just gonna show you facing forward really quick. One of the most common things that people tend to do with this is they tend to roll out on the outside of their feet. And a lot of times this happens is because we don't have that range of motion in our big toe. You can see that a little bit from the shadow. So what I want us to do is really specifically roll up and through those big toes as we walk. So I'm gonna be thinking about over my big toe. I'm nice and tall. I'm gonna go for, at first, 10 steps per foot. And I'm gonna build up to 20 steps per foot, walking all the way through here. All right, so now we've walked on our toes, we've gotten those calves really fired up, we've got this foot and those arches really built up. We're now gonna walk on our heels, and this heel walking is a great way just to activate 
all these muscles in the front and this anterior tibialis. Um, we get a little bit of posterior work in there as well and just to really just get these shins fired up just to get those strong ankles. So once again, zooming on down low, we're going to walk back on these heels. I'm picking those toes up. I'm going to work on at least 10 steps per foot, building up to 20 steps per foot, marching forward. I know, graceful, right? Beautiful. So this last exercise we're gonna hit, guys, is a single leg hop. But we're not just gonna be hopping on one foot like this. What we're actually gonna do is change some directions. Now, I'm on this track, so I'm gonna use this line right here. And I have my handy dandy sock, which I'm gonna use as another little line to hop over this way and use this line to hop over this way. So what I'm gonna do is start on one foot and I'm gonna work on a little forward backwards hop, see how this feels. If that's good, I'm gonna work on a little side to side hop, back and forth this way. And then if I can, I'm gonna work on a forwards backwards, side to side, forwards backwards, side to side. Once again, working on about 10 hops in the beginning, back and forth. And then I could switch it up, see how this other foot feels. Whoo, back and forth, working on this strength is so good and the thing I'm really hitting for is just making sure that that foot stays strong, it doesn't really fall apart on me, uh, and my hips are level as well. So once again, really good strength. This is a lot of foot and ankle stuff, guys. So do this circuit. Maybe in the beginning, work on only going through, let's say twice, maybe build up to three times. Definitely give your calves and your feet a lot of love with a foam roll and a lacrosse ball as you adapt and adjust. But as you adapt and adjust, your feet and ankles are gonna be so much stronger. It's gonna translate so nicely to greater stability on your longer runs and just recovery and everything in general. So go forth and conquer with these foot and ankle strengthening drills. You're gonna enjoy them. I know I do. Catch you later. If you like this, uh, you know, foot and ankle routine we got for you. We got more strength for you, and it's actually part of our Quick Start Strength program. Uh, two weeks of full body weight uh, workouts you can do, including some really good warm up exercises, as well as some injury prevention and mobility exercises at the end. So essential. All you need to do to get it is to click the link at the end of this video. There's also a link down in the description. Of course, if you like this video, let us know. Hit that like button. Any comments or questions on these foot exercises we did, drop that down below too. And of course, subscribe to our channel. Guys, we got so many great videos coming at you each and every week. We guarantee that if you have a question, chances are we've done something on it or we'll be doing something soon. Once again, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.